My name is Jason Curtis, and I'm an associate research scientist at Columbia University in the Department of Astronomy. I work on a technique to measure the ages of stars based on how fast they spin. We call this gyrochronology, or timekeeping through rotation. All stars are born spinning, and they slow down over time. It is challenging to tell how old a star is. It's somewhere between the start of the universe and the end of the universe, somewhere in there, 14 billion years for low mass stars. But with rotation, we can actually make precise, meaningful measurements of their age. In the fall of 2019, I started working with three high school students in the New York area through the Science Research Mentoring Program at the American Museum of Natural History. What we worked on is a way of taking these image cutouts and measuring the brightness of the stars that we cared about and stringing all that together to make a, a light curve. But then the museum was shut down in March of 2020, and so we found ourselves working remotely. And we realized that what we can do is download data collected from NASA's test satellite. We can upload those data into Google Colab and use Python to extract our measurements and study how fast stars spin so that we can build a model for age dating all the stars in the sky. And each piece of this is free. And so that eliminates a lot of barriers for anybody, including high school students, to engage in astrophysics research. Using the age dating techniques previously mentioned, we are able to estimate that the cluster is approximately 260 million years old, give or take a few million years. Through this process of working with the, these students, we're writing up tutorials so anybody can download our notebooks and learn for themselves how to conduct this astrophysics cutting-edge research. <laughs>